Right now, we're back and we're going to actually do this room properly now. I had some fun coming down. Uh, sheep were in the middle of the road. So, yeah, that was fun. And a nice drink there at the barn. Did a few Instagram posts. And we'll be and we're right back on our way. I'm always stitchy around this area. This area is, is quite a stitchy area to be uh, going down because people just fly down. It's a 60 mile an hour road, it's natural speed, isn't it? But it's not really wide enough for two cars. So I'm trying to get to the best position where you see a car move out of its fucking way before it hits me. Now the road will widen. I can actually go a bit quicker. And the sheep have relocated to there, which isn't very good. Because that means it's going closer and closer down there. Get up the hill now. See a sharp left hander. If you fucking come up here, you should know that. And as you see over there, there's a lot of debris from when the car went through the fence. There's a lot of uh, good corners up here, but to hit the air pets, you need to make sure there's nothing coming. Which I like, eating the fucking gay pets. I'll give the cyclist a bit more room. And you also have to deal with them. You'll have to deal with them when you're at the TT and you're racing. You also got to deal with people just pulling out. No, I can't see what's coming, so... a car up ahead so I'm doing a bit slower. You don't want to be touching that for bridge in the corner. Like I just did. Because it could send you off. Try and avoid using any front brake going out of the corners. Because if your front goes you're gone. But that's some fucking G-Force. Jeez, I went fucking far with that.
now with that blind section, so yeah, it's quite annoying. Well, we're going up the hill now, again. This is a different hill. This tone of dip catches a lot of people out, weirdly. It says 20 miles an hour. You can go a bit quicker than 20, but you don't want to be into a metal guardrail. And if it was a race, you'd be right over to that curb over there and powering out of this corner. Doing about 80 mile an hour, you hit that apex. And this is where a lot of people get caught for speeding because you see right down the road, it's nice, long, straight, where a lot of people try and put the bikes and cars to the limit on this small, straight piece of road. They power as fast as possible, but it catches a lot of people out uh, that are just doing it for the lols, as you would say. Uh, and that's there's a corner right here. Now, if you're racing, you can make this corner at top speed. <laughs> but if you're not, you're in that field. And also, this is a second low street, but it's residential. Ain't a good idea to be speeding everywhere up here. When you're on the open sort of roads, uh, it's much better for you. Because obviously, you're not going to have a deal with reading uh, drivers that like, just don't want to go anywhere. There's also a lot of horse riders up here, so we will deal with them if we see them. When you've got a loud exhaust, it's a little harder to deal with horse riders. You should basically rather cut your bike off and coast past them. Which, is, if you're going downhill, not a problem. If you're doing uphill, it's a little more tricky. Uh, if you And if you don't do that, you can also pull the clutch in uh, and ride past normally, but not rev your engine. Oh well, it's all difficult. Also, if you if the uh, original park said uh, in, you would have seen this road and how bad this fucking road is. Also, I were we able to see with all the flies are on my visor currently? So I need to clean that. Well that's all we need to do. Is go nice and slowly. Not run into the back of anybody. Not cause any obstructions. And not die. Which is quite difficult when you want to bike. And the car you got metal fucking shield. This, you knack is it if you don't have a bump too hard. And you also got to deal with the cyclist in the middle of the fucking road. The light red murderers. I hate them. I can. Turn a bike 
all in the shirts, uh, which were the drawing. Never mind. So this is the fun bit. So oh, here, yeah, doors into a flirter. Are oh, you doing quite quick? Which 90% of people are. Right, look, there's nothing at the current moment you can crash into until you hit that. Which, technically, that's a blind corner, so you wouldn't be able to see that. You got the residential area, you know, so no, it's just a 30 mile an hour zone. But this is where well, everyone's brain sort of uh, gives up, but they don't like it. Uh, they like pulling out one, yeah, they like doing everything wrong, and you. But I go to you, so how the hell have these people got a driving license? Huh. Well, a lot of people say that about me, so I can't really do anything about that. I'm going straight on, and they're going straight on, and they're turning. Oh, there's a red light. And that car just went straight through it. Okay. I'll deal with that after. Ooh. So, yeah, it's a bit bumpy down here. And there is a few times where cars have pulled out, so I'm going to go a little slow. I don't want to be hit ever again. That hurts. That really hurts. Is up the Alaman now? Alaman TT starts next week, I believe. So, I wish I was there. Hopefully in 2019 I'll be there, but yeah, I don't really book a TT uh, until I dropped my test, and the time I dropped my test this year it was like, there was no places, so I should go. I should go via airplane, but you want to be riding! <laughs> 